Dear students, in today's session, we are going to deal with how to find the eigenvectors for a given symmetric matrix. Those who don't watch the video, how to find the eigenvalues using the calculator tricks, go to the description and see the previous video and come back to this video. Let us consider an example. We have to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the following matrix. So, the given matrix is symmetric. You can easily check A and A transpose are equal. So, now let us find the eigenvalues first. Then we can go for the eigenvectors. As usual, the characteristic equation is A minus lambda i determinant is equal to 0 and then we write it as lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to 0. Now, we have to find S1, S2 and S3. So, from the matrix we know the leading diagonal elements are 8, 7, 3. When you add, you will get 18. Next, we found S2. S2 is the minors of the leading diagonal elements. You can see here, to find S2, first I will take 8 and I will omit this row and column. Then I can write the remaining 2 cross 2 determinant. Similarly, to find the second one, I will take this leading diagonal element and I neglect this row and column. I will write the remaining 2 cross 2 and take the determinant. And in the same way, this is the third element. I will neglect this row and column and I will write the remaining 2 cross 2 matrix and I will take the determinant. When I take the determinant of each and I simplify, I will be getting 45. Next one is finding the determinant of the matrix A. So, we know we take plus minus plus then this keeping 8 here and then determinant of this will give you 21 minus 6. Next minus is already there. So, minus into minus 6 it is going to be plus 6 here. Then neglect this row and column and you can find the determinant value. It is going to be minus 18 plus 8 and finally take this 2 and neglect this row and column and finding the determinant we will be getting 24 minus 14. While you simplify you will get 0. So, therefore my S1 is 18, S2 is 45 and S3 is equal to 0. The next step is to find the eigenvalues. So, we know from the previous video all the calculated tricks how to find the eigenvalue from the calculator. Just we have to write lambda cube minus 18 lambda square plus 45 lambda minus 0 is equal to 0. So, the constant term is 0. Minus 0 or plus 0 it is going to be the same. Use your calculator and when you use your calculator, we can find the eigenvalues are 0, 3 and 15. So, just simply write lambda minus 0, lambda minus 3, lambda minus 15 equal to 0. Just write some wordings by solving and you can write the eigenvalues as the solution for this characteristic equation. Now, there comes a question. In the previous video, we just found the eigenvalues alone. I missed one thing. What is the guarantee that your eigenvalues are correct? Your eigenvalues may be wrong. In the previous video, I said um, the eigenvalues cannot be a real number. Now, the eigenvalues are integer, but still, what is the guarantee your eigenvalues 0, 3 and 15 are correct? For this, I am going to use the property to verify. So, it is very simple. Find the sum of eigenvalues. Here, the sum of eigenvalues is 0 plus 3 plus 15. That is going to be my 18. So, the, according to the property, we can see sum of the eigenvalues is always equal to S1. That is sum of the leading diagonal elements. Now you see my S1 is 18 and sum of eigenvalue is 18. So now it is 50 percent correct. But still we don't know whether this is correct. Why? Because if some other student is getting eigenvalues like this 1, 1, 16. If we add this data, still he will get S1 is 18. Hope you understand. If some student is getting 15, then 4 minus 1, still you get the same S1, yes, 18. So, there might be still some error. So, next we are going to use the another property that is product of my eigenvalues. So, here the eigenvalues are 0, 3 and 15. When you multiply, the product of eigenvalue is 15. So, product of eigenvalues is always is equal to determinant of A that is S3. If this 
two conditions are satisfied then my eigen value is correct if it is not satisfied you have to go and run and check where you did the error and you have to rectify it so in this problem you see sum of eigen value is s1 that is 18 product of eigen value is s3 that is determinant of a that is 0 so i am guarantee that my answer is correct next our aim is to find the eigen vectors for the eigen value we take determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 for the case of eigen vector i am going to take a minus lambda i into the eigen vector x what we assumed x as x1 x2 x3 now let us find the eigen vectors one by one according to the eigen value so now we have to write this data so we know that a minus lambda i matrix is going to be like this and x is the column matrix which contain x1 x2 and x3 are the elements now simplifying this we will be getting three equations let us take it as equation 1 now we have three eigen values 0 3 and 15 we are going to substitute each eigen values in this simultaneous equations and we are going to find the corresponding eigen vectors let us go one by one case 1 let us find the eigen vectors for each eigen value and it is not necessary that uh, you have to take the eigen values in order i am taking lambda equal to 0 as the first case even you can take the other eigen values it's up to you okay so now let me substitute lambda equal to 0 in this equation 1 and i will get the three simultaneous equations now to find the eigen vector i am going to use cross multiplication method to use cross multiplication method i am going to take any two equations from this three you have to check out of three equations which is very simple this is the first idea the second idea is you should not take two equations which are exactly same or multiples of some number if you take that then what will happen you will get an eigen vector obviously 0 0 0 if you get a eigen vector whose all the entries are zero then it is an obvious eigen vector and you should be very careful if you get a eigen vector like this your mark is also zero so your eigen vector should contain at least one non zero value it may be like this or when you take the two equations are same obviously your eigen vector will become zero so you have to choose two equations very simple that is rule one and rule two that equations are not equal then you can proceed and you can get some non zero entries in your eigen vector so now let us consider two equations i am taking the second and third equations because i feel these two are little easy now i am going to take the coefficients of these two equations in a particular order i call this as 2 3 1 2 so this is our mantra 2 3 1 2 what is 2 3 1 2 now you take this equation first you have to take the coefficients of 2 then the coefficient of x3 then the coefficient of x1 again you come back to the coefficient of x2 so that is simply you take the coefficients of x2 x3 x1 x2 i am simply saying it as 2 3 1 2 hope you understand now let me write the coefficients 7 minus 4 minus 6 7 similarly for the next equation minus 4 3 2 and minus 4 so once you write this i am going to use the cross multiplication method and i am going to write the eigen vector so now to find the equivalent value here you have to take the determinant of first two values for x2 you have to take the determinant of the middle one for x3 you have to take the determinant of last two sets that's it so it is going to be very simple so 7 into 3 minus 4 into 4 so i'm going to get 21 minus 16 then for the next one minus 4 into 2 minus 6 into 3 so minus 8 plus 18 then finally 6 into 4 2 into 7 so 24 minus 14 when we simplify this we will be getting x1 by 5 x2 by 10 x3 by 10 now i want to take the simplest eigen vector so i am going to take capital x1 because this is case 1 capital x1 is my eigen vector so i will leave the common things here 5 10 10 so i can simply write 1 2 2 and it is very important for a particular eigen value 
the eigen vectors are not unique it has infinitely many eigen vector so in general i can write the eigen vectors is t 2t and 2t now you can put any real value for t so if i put 1 i'll be getting 1 2 2 if i put pi i'll be getting 5 10 10 hope you understand but in exam point of view we don't want to write all these things we are writing the smallest or simplest value here x1 hope you understand next similarly when you take lambda equal to 3 as case 2 substitute in this equations and write the equation like this and now similarly you have to take any two simplest equation which is not same here all the three equations are different so i can take any two i am going to take the second and third equations so my badge is 2 3 1 2 so my coefficients are going to be 4 minus 4 minus 6 Four for this equation, and for the next equation, minus four, zero, two, minus four. So once you write this, as usual process, find the determinant of this. So zero minus sixteen, you get here. Then minus eight plus zero, then twenty-four minus eight. When you simplify this, you'll be getting minus sixteen minus eight plus sixteen. So I can remove minus eight for simplicity. I don't want. Much minuses in the problem. So my second eigen vector. Remember, student, this is small x two and this is capital x two. Don't get confused with this small x two and capital x two. So capital x two is two one minus two. Even if you write like this minus two minus one two, nothing wrong in it. So for the further processes like finding quadratic form to canonical form, if you have more minuses, you can do some error. That's why I'm trying to eliminate those minuses. That's it. In a similar way, now we are going to find the third eigen vector. Substitute lambda equal to 15 in the simultaneous equation. We'll be getting these three equations and take your own choices. Now I am taking the first two because you may get confused that. Always, sir is taking two and three. It's not the case. You can take two, three, one, three, one, two, whatever you like. Our code is two, three, one, two. The coefficients are going to be minus six, two, minus seven, and minus six. For the second equation, it is going to be eight, four, six, eight. Now, I want to find the eigen vector. Cross multiply this to find the values. Minus twenty-four, minus sixteen, twelve, minus twenty-eight, minus of minus will become plus, and then minus fifty-six, minus into minus plus thirty-six. Therefore, x minus forty for x two we have forty, and x three we have minus twenty. So I am going to write the third eigen vector simply. removing the minus and 20 so it is going to be 1 minus 2 and 2 so we found all the three eigen vectors next to the same question i can arise to you what is the guarantee that all your eigen vectors x1 x2 x3 are correct there might be errors say sir no so you may do some error so let us check whether my eigen vectors are correct or wrong now we form a modal matrix modal matrix is nothing but write your eigen vector 1 eigen vector 2 eigen vector 3 then you get a 3 cross 3 modal matrix like this so now let me check whether this eigen vectors are correct or not so if the matrix is a symmetric matrix then there exists a result all the three eigen vectors are mutually orthogonal they are orthogonal to each other so X one transpose X two equal to zero. X two transpose X three equal to zero, and X three transpose X one is equal to zero. If I say like this mathematically, non-math students will get trouble. So let me tell one simple idea. This is no mathematics. Okay, just for your understanding. You remember how to draw a smiley. So you can draw a smiley like this. Okay. Now, if you found the modal matrix. let us check whether the answer is correct or wrong let me tell a simple idea to check our eigen vectors are correct or not okay now let us take a smiley you take first two columns okay i can draw like this now multiply each elements in this column so 1 into 2 2 into 1 2 into -2 now add this so 2 
plus 2 minus 4. You will be getting 0. So that means the first 2 is 0. Now you go for the next 2. Similarly, multiply the elements in the next 2 columns. 2 into 2, 1 into minus 2, minus 2 into 1. Now add everything. 4 minus 2 minus 2. It's going to be 0. So I get the next i for my smiley. Now go for the first and third. So 1 into 2, 2 into minus 2, 2 into 1. Add it again, we'll be getting 0. So you see, the smiley is smiling on you. Okay, no mathematics behind it. Whatever I said initially, if the matrix is a symmetric matrix, all the eigenvectors are orthogonal to each other. If I say like this, some students may feel difficult. Now, it is easy for you. Check the first two columns and the next two columns and the first and third column. If you get everything is zero, then your eigenvectors are correct. So, the smiley is smiling on you. You will be happily complete the problem. Now, suppose you think that you did an error in the third eigenvector. Suppose instead of one, if you are having 0. Now, when you do the calculation, the first one will become 0, you will get 0. When you go for this 2 and 3, what do you get? 2 into 2, 1 into minus 2, then minus 2 into 0, that is 0. When you add this, what will happen? You will be getting 4 minus 2, that is minus 2. So, it is not equal to 0, then you will be getting a pirated smiley. Okay, just for fun, I am telling. So, if you are not getting 0, that means there is some error in either 2 or 3. You just go and check where is the error, find out the error and recheck the values in the eigenvector and get the correct eigenvector. And after that, when you start doing the verification, you will be getting the smiley again. Make a table, write the eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvectors. Thanks for watching. Hope you understand. If you enjoy the problem, you just share to your friends, subscribe our channel and support us. If you have any queries or doubts, you can comment in the description. Thank you students. We will see in the next video.